Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. I just want to say, Papa, oh, oh, say, I just, I just want to say, oh, God, I just want to say, yeah. I just want to say, oh, yeah. oh, Blessing. 
Amen. The year of breakthrough. Amen. The year of fulfillment. Amen. The year of open doors. Amen. The year of prosperity. Amen. The year of good health. Amen. The year of promotion. Amen. The year of employment. Amen. So be it in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we thank you for those watching, Lord, on the social media. Yes, sir. We pray for our sons and daughters, brothers and sisters, fathers and mothers around the world watching. Amen. We pray, God, that your visitation will be in their houses. Yes, sir. Visit them, Lord. Bless them. Amen. Increase them. Amen. Let there be blessing upon our lives. Amen. Let this month end with happiness in our houses. Amen. Bless our hands. Our lives will not be dry. Amen. We will not beg for food. Amen. Money will not run away from us. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. Those that are waiting to hear bad news. Those that are waiting to laugh at us. Yes, sir. Those that say we'll never excel. Yes, sir. Let them celebrate our success. Amen. Let them celebrate our success. Amen. Let them say congratulations to us. Amen. Father, open their mouth to congratulate us. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Speak to your neighbors and never you are too blessed to be cursed. You are too anointed to be defeated. Tomorrow we'll be entering into the new Liberia. Tomorrow, between 10.45 to 12 midday, there will be a shifting in the rain over the climate of Liberia concerning people's destiny. That is why we are arranging the meeting on Tuesday. It will be his first day in office, so we start a revival. That is the opening of Liberia. Tuesday is the fresh day for the new government. The gates of Liberia will be open for blessing. So we stopped in a four day revival from Tuesday. We have to be sensitive. The cloud is shifting. The Bible said when Samuel took the oil to anoint David, there was a shifting in the rain. And when the oil came upon David, the Bible said, and the Spirit of God left Saul and kicked him over David. The Spirit of God came over him powerfully. The Bible say, powerfully rested on him. There will be a shift tomorrow. Shift from 12 years regime. Shifting into a little village called Ukruta. It is for you and me. It's not part of business. It's about Liberia. It's about your children, your grandchildren, your great grand. But we're about to experience, we're going to see the finger of Jehovah resting upon this nation. Are you hearing me? You're great men of God, you have never happened before. Yesterday, great men of God did something in the land. Yes, great man of God, or I will pour on the sword that will not go back again to another six years. Of struggle. This is your time. I'm telling you. But what I want us to do as Liberian in your closet, in your houses, get on your knees and pray for the new regime. Don't criticize from this day. Push. Hey, push. So much God will be doing in this time. You will not be left out. Your amen need to go back to school. Liberia, you're about to experience something that will push you into your dream. Yes. Get ready to take over supermarket. Get ready to be the owner of supermarket. Liberians, hear me. Hear me. Hear me well. Those in the diaspora, hear me. 
Get ready to come back home. Get ready to come back home. If you're in the death row, get ready to come back home. What a year in Liberia may have an estate. Supermarket. Your own company in your name. Transportation business. Buses running in the Liberian name. Yes, private university built by a Liberian. That is what we want to see in this time. Everybody leaving Egypt, we're going back to Canada. Lots of that light. Let's go. Everybody left. We are entering the new Liberia with skills, with talent, with wisdom, with gifts. Whatever your hand touched to do, do it. Whatsoever your hand touched to do, do it. Do it. It is your time. If you're going to rise business, go. It's open now. You want to import sardine, import. You want to go as a farmer, take land. Start farming. Things will happen. No more going to, to import snail. Importing of pepper will stop. Importing of snail will stop. I'm telling you something. The land is so much fatter. Open your eyes. Go into the forest. Say, I found a vast land. They will give you money and do start something. Start something. Catch your neighbors and get ready to start something. Don't complain. Don't sit on the fence. A lot of pastors will drop the Bible. We will know who is who. Those who are called will stay preaching. They will stay to preach. And people who came because of poverty will go back because they have their job to do. Poverty make a lot of pastors, a lot of people to take Bible. And they become prophets and prophetess. Because of poverty. No job. The only job to do is to hold Bible and shout, yeah, 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 yeah. And they call it off. So when opportunity comes, it plummet everywhere. So many people who have the passion, they will drop the Bible and go back to their career. We're going to look at the Bible quickly. I will be preaching on what I tie to. Obey him. Speak to your neighbor in the ears. Slowly, softly. Obey him. Then you shout in that neighbor ear now. Obey him. Isaiah chapter 51. Let's look at verses 7. Isaiah chapter 51. We'll be looking at verses 7. Hallelujah. Let's stand for the reading of the word of God, please. Everybody. Yeah, let's go. Read. Isaiah 51, 7. Hearken unto me, ye that know righteousness. Mm -hmm. The people in whose heart is my Lord. Mm -hmm. Fear ye not the reproach of men, mm -hmm. neither be ye the afraid of their revelings. Go. Now the end of the Bible says, Hear me, you who know what is right. You people who have taken my instruction to heart, do not fear. The reproach of male mortals or be terrified by their results. Listen to this. Hear me, you who know what is right. Hear me, you who know what is right. You people who have taken my instruction by heart, do what? Hear me. The people that know what is right, hear me. Oh, me take your seat the first thing you need to understand is to take your cotton ball and un unlock your ears if you are not hearing God then you are hearing the devil what am I saying if you are not hearing God you are doing what you are 
hearing the devil. If he would not hear God, then she would take instruction from Satan in the garden. The reason why he failed God because she was not hearing him again. When you stop hearing God, you will start hearing Satan. Are we there? When you stop hearing from God, you will start hearing from the devil. Write it, don't forget. The day you stop hearing from God, taking instruction from him, you will start receiving instruction from the devil. Someone who can obey him. He said, hear me, hear me. Who should you hear? Number one. You who know what is right. You that know what is right, obey me. You are not a baby Christian, but why are you behaving like this? You have come to me for long. You should know me by now. You should understand me by now. But I am still pleading with you to hear me. Five years ago, you didn't know my voice. You didn't know anything about me. I introduced myself to you. But you've gone ten years now and you stay the same. Why? Wow. Hear me. Obey me. The same thing you used to do before, before you met me. And I started training you along the way. Me and you, my daughter. Me and you, my son. But you are ten years in my vanya and you stay the same. Why you not obey me? Obey me. If your ears are not hearing God's voice, then something is wrong. You are hearing the devil. You can be a Christian and your ears block. Tell your neighbor, say, Hear God. Hear him well. He said, Those who know what is right. You should hear me, obey me. I never expected you to be at this level at this time. Concerning spiritual matters, you would have been at a different level by now, but I'm still looking at you at the same level. What is wrong? You are not growing. You are not mature. You stay at the same place. In other words, you are not hearing me. I am the one to direct you. I am the one to lead you. But you are not hearing me. What is happening? Who are you listening to? Who voice is controlling you? Who voice is ordering you? Who is your master? Scream in someone's ears. Obey him. Obey him. If you are not hearing God, then you are hearing the devil. John 10, 27. See, John 10, 27. If you are not hearing God, you are doing what? Then you are hearing the devil. And if you hear the devil, get ready to be in the pit of suffering. There's nothing good coming from the, from the devil. Nothing good coming from him. Nothing good. Satan has nothing good to offer you. It's just a flash he can give you. A flash of car. A flash of bread. A flash of food. A flash of clothes. Nothing permanent comes from him. I said nothing permanent. Everything that comes from the devil is temporary. It don't last. He gave you a husband, he will take it away. He gave you a boyfriend, he will stop halfway. He gave you a car, he will take it away. He gave you a house, he will take it away. Nothing permanent comes from him. When you hear him, you will be disappointed. When you listen to him, you will be frustrated. When you obey him, you will be frustrated. Yeah, God and God only. Obey him. Touch your neighbor, so who are you obeying? See John chapter 10, look at verses 27. See John 10, 27. Yeah. My sheep hear my voice. My what? My sheep. 
my sheep hear my voice and i know them uh -huh. and they follow me look at that my sheep hear my voice not only that i know my sheep and my sheep follow me they hear my voice i know my sheep and my sheep follow me in other words they obey my instruction We are all created in the image and likeness of the Most High God. What distinguishes you from others is the covenant that you have with God. What makes you to be unique under a coverage, under protections and provision, it is the covenant that you have with God. In that covenant, you must obey Him to the letter. My sheep hear my voice and they follow me. I know my sheep and my sheep know me. And the sheep don't know me, but they follow me. Who are you following? Slap your neighbor and say, Obey him. Obey. You're sitting by your husband, give the husband one slap on the jaw, say, Obey him. Can you even do it to your wife? No problem. Obey him. My sheep. Hear me. I know them to follow me. How about my sheep? My sheep. You personalize it. My sheep. Not any kind of sheep. My own sheep. My people who are called by my name. My own people. The Egyptian, the Israelite, my people. Let them go. He created all of them. The Egyptians were created by him. The Israelites were created by him. But he separated. He said, my people. You see God? My, my people, my people. Who created the Egyptian? Huh? Who created the Egyptian? God created them. But you see, because the Egyptians were not on that covenant with God. That is a secret. They were not obeying God. They were obeying idols, worshiping, handmade gods. And God told them back to them. He said, My people, let my people go. Can God stand and knock his chest for you? That is my daughter. She obey me often. I'm proud of him. He is my son. In every look, even though he's I'm testing him, he still obey me. In the dry season, in her dry season, she's still loving me. You know what this going by is swift. You don't the steering. No job. You don't the steering. Business going down. You don't the steering. No. In the muck of water, you still stand. God will you. In dry season, Lord, whatsoever you say, that's the final. Even though I don't have a job, I have children to take care of. But whatsoever you say now, you trust God for healing, you can't trust God for the husband. You hear that? You hear him that you'll hear you, but it comes to the husband, you can't hear him. The people too are stupid. So may I let the men go who will feed me? If I allow them one to go, who will sponsor me? Hear him, obey him. My sheep hear my voice. My own sheep hear my voice. So if you're not hearing God, if you're not obeying Him, then you're obeying the devil. Are you the devil child, my daughter, my son? No? Then obey Him. If God said, don't enter there, don't enter. If God said, don't go there, don't go there. If God said, don't do it, don't do it. Obey Him. Slap the neighbor, say, obey Him. I don't say tap, I say slap. Obey. Obey him. Look around and tell someone to say obey him. Now obey is not something that you just say obey him. It's a command. Whether you like it or not, you do it. It's a command. Come here. Go there. You obey your authority. You obey the authority. You have no option. The national flag is going or you must stand according to our authority. The 
the Lord. You stand. Whether you like it or not, you must stand to the flag of host it. You obey the authority. The president's passing the convo. I don't care the car, the car you're driving. You stop. You back. Even the way you back it, you hang it. You cannot back. Keep hanging your car till the president pass. You obey. If you can do that, what about God? You come into the church, off your phone, and your phone step up. Excuse me. Of our food for what? You are not obeying. Simple instruction in the presence of the Lord. Come on, switch off your phone because God is speaking. You may not see Him, but He's right by your side. He's in you, listening to you. Switch off the full instruction because what? God is not talking. When the Lord is in the temple, all I keep silence before Him. But while God talking, you still talking. While God is talking, they say, switch up, you're not switching up. Slap someone say, obey him. My sheep hear my voice. My sheep hear my voice. They follow me. They do what? They follow me. I want to ask a question and don't answer, please. How old are you in Christian love? How old are you? Are you a sucking child or a chewing bone Christian? If you are still sucking as a Christian, then how old are you in this kingdom? If you are still sucking breast milk, you still drinking milk up to now. Ten years you've been in this thing, you still drinking milk. How old are you? Why you keep repeating one thing over and over? Today you dare, I'm sorry. The next day, I'm sorry. Today you dare, I'm sorry. The same thing over and over, you are not mature. But now, you have graduated to another level. But you stay fighting one thing for 20 years now. Yesterday, you said sorry. Today, sorry. The next tomorrow, you said, yes, see all things, not differently. At least by mistake and something new. But the see all things, and God said, my child, why? Obey me. I don't like this thing. I hate this thing. I don't want you to be doing this thing. Yes, daddy, please forgive me. Your conscience is judging you. You are guilty when you need now. And the Lord said, forgive you through my son's blood. But the next you mean me, you are doing the same old thing. Slap your neighbor and say, stop it. Sorry. Obey me. Obey. Mm. obey me. Obey, 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 obey. Obey me. When God get ready, what you like it or not, you obey. To obey is to submit to authority, to submit, to comply, to carry out instruction, to submit, to comply, to carry out instruction. You must obey, you must submit, you must carry out God's instruction to obey. Think you may allow the brothers all. There's so much to do. He got to squeeze something out of you. The thing you brought from Egypt, the thing from the other side can't enter into the promised land because you will not know who gave it to you. The one of the people when the king of Moses went up the mountain the other day to communicate with God for 40 days. What God was writing on his finger, using the finger to write the Ten Commandments. The Bible said there was a noise down in the camp. The noise was so much, keep increasing. And most of what was happening down, he left his brother Aaron the priest. He left his sister the prophetess down with them. And the people came to Aaron. They said, Aaron, the man that brought us out of Egypt. Who? The man that brought us out of Egypt is no more. They didn't say the God that brought us. The man that brought us out of Egypt is no more. Aaron, make for us a God that we may worship him. Moses come talking, communicating with God. Aaron, the message command. The people demand him to make a God. 
the man that brought us no more. 40 days gone, we don't know about him. Aaron now listened to the people. He obeyed the people. He said, take off your earring, your bankers, your gold chain and bring it. The people dropped it before his feet and he molded it. He melted it and molded it into gold and He set it up. He said, everyone, let's wash it. The people bowed down and started worshiping something that was made from Aaron's hand. All of them that came out of Egypt, all of them with their children, they undressed themselves. They were built naked. All of them, because the Egyptian God, you must naked yourself before you bow down. So all of them were naked. Son see the mother nakedness. Daughter see father nakedness. They all bowed down to that calf God. Worshiping. And the Bible said they danced and they were playing. And the noise went up to Mansana. And God said, it is not the noise of jubilation, Moses. It's the noise of rebellion. Moses came down from the mountain and saw the people naked. He was so angry. He got anger in his blood. He broke the Ten Commandments. We were crying, why? Aaron, I left you here in charge. The people you left me with. The people you left me with. Oh, Adam, why you did this? The woman you gave to me. Shifting blame. When you can hear God, you were shifting. Husband and wife today are frustrated because they don't want to hear God. The wife is listening to outside people telling her about her husband. The husband listening to noise around the community about his wife. So when I'm out of, out of the house, this is what you can do. We are talking to the woman, hearing people. You must hear God first. You hear the people say, let me discuss with God and Lord. He has a final saying concerning this. God and me that he will not hide anything from you. The reason why God is not talking to you to instruct you because you are too stubborn. You're so stubborn that God said, I can't talk to you again. Every time I come to talk to you, you disobey me. When I want to speak to you, you close your ear. I will not talk to you again. My sheep hear my voice and obey me. My sheep. So you're not my sheep. My sheep. I'm standing ahead of representative right in this church now. You can't see God by representing God right here. So if, if you must hear God, then you must obey me. Some people want to see God before they know. No, you can't see. Forget about my age. Jesus was older than Peter. But yes, there, Peter submitted to Jesus' ministry. So it's not age. It's the divine instruction that's coming from this person. So if you obey me, then you can go further. Paul said, obey me. Follow me as I follow Christ. Hear him. Open your ears daily and listen to that voice. That same voice wants to talk to you. Obey him. Hear him. Hear him. Someone say, I will hear him. I will listen to him. Now they say, he says, hear me. You who know what is right. You who know what is right. You who know what is right. I think by now you're supposed to know your left from your, your right. Wrong from right. But you're still doing the same wrong thing pretending to be right. You're doing the wrong thing. You say it is right. God said no. But now, you who know what is right, hear me. You that graduated from K2, from first grade, hear me. You that mature in the kingdom, hear me. The reason why we still have people frustrated in the church because those are supposed to be mature are still babies. So the one that the babies are not coming, they, they become baby more. Because only when the baby comes into the church and meet people, mature Christians, we should te teach them how to live for God. But now they are coming as a new born babies into the kingdom and they put them 10 years in the kingdom still behaving like babies. There is no difference between a 10 years Christian and a day old Christian. Are you following me? Yes. Hear him. Then the next thing says, you people who have taken my instruction to heart, those of you who have taken my instruction to heart, hear me. You know my commandment, hear me. You know my rules and regulations, hear me. You know that I don't like the thing. Please listen to me. Just your neighbor say, obey him. Obey him. Obey him. Obey him. John 2 5. Look at St. John chapter 2, verse 5. Tell your neighbor, say, obey him. If you're not listening to God, who are you listening to? Let me hear you. If you're not listening to God, who are you listening to? 
if you are not obeying God, who are you obeying? If you are not following God's instruction, who instruction are you following? How do you know the child of the devil? If the child is disobeying God, he is not God. Are you following me? St. John chapter 2 verse 5. Let's go. His mother said unto the servants, uh -huh. Whatsoever he said unto you to wait. Whatsoever he tells you to do, do it. The people gathered and came to Jesus' mother and said, Excuse me, mother, we know that you're so. Now, in this now, Jesus has never performed a miracle before. At this time, at this moment now, in this text, he has never performed a miracle. They invited the family wedding here. They invited Mary. They invited her son. Because if they're not family, they will not bring two of them on board. They invited Jesus. They invited the mother. They were all their family. If they were not connected, how would they say bring wine? They will never tell a stranger to bring wine. The people came to Mary. We want wine. Mary went to her son. So the people asked him for wine. He said, my time has not yet come. Then she went to the people. Whatsoever he tells you to do, do it. It may be hard, it will be difficult, it will be tedious, but whatsoever he tells you to do, do it. In other words, obey him to the fullest. It is so easy to serve God, but obey him. It's rewarding, but it's difficult. We are all slaves in the kingdom. Slaves to good things. What do I mean? There's something you know your body is demanding, but because of Christ, you don't want to do it. You like it, you want to do it, but for the sake of God, you say, No, you are a slave to righteousness. I don't know if you understand it. We are all slave to righteousness. As him, we want to do it. We feel like doing it. Our system telling us to do it, but because of God, I will not do this. We are slaves to righteousness. Others can do it and go scot free, but you can't do it and go free. That is the difference. Though. They go to abortion, they are bought and free. You see them walking around, but you don't know the truth and you go into it. Boom, something happened. But the other day, the sister went and bought her, oh, nothing happened. You are different. You don't know what to do. That is the difference between you and the person outside. The one outside that don't know Christ has never submitted his or her life to God. Can do anything and the Lord say I forgive you. But you don't have tested righteousness. You have tested God. You have seen his power. You have seen his testimony. You are a walking miracle of God. When you abandon him and go into something, the thing will break. And you say, why? Because you are different. You are his. You are his. So he don't play fun with you. So he's telling you, no, it's not you. You're not supposed to do this. Mary can do it and go scot free. Essa can go scot free. But you know, I can't allow you to do it and go free. I will punish you for this. Watch the thing in the house. Esau ahead, Jacob alone. Why? The tax on Jacob are more than the tax of Esau. You don't understand that. God said, I love Jacob. I will treat him. Go and look at the ministration of Jacob and look at the ministration of Esau. You see what happened. Jacob went through top punishment. Top time. Those he loved, he just died. Those he loved, he just died. He just asking you not to kill you. He's treating you in the highway. And glory is attached to you. He will not allow you to be a well watcher. He will treat you by himself. That you will be a glory tomorrow. To you it is evil. No. He just asking you. Don't go this way. Don't do this thing. Don't touch it. Don't enter. The other can go. Let them go. You are too different. You are a special child. You are too you need. He will not allow you to go through it. That's why 
of God get ready to bless you, your blessing is different. Because you're not just an ordinary person. Your mother don't know who you are. Your father don't even know you. Only God will bless you in the woman knows who you are. You're a special child. You are heavenly and silent. Divinity trusts you. Their trust is on you. You're a walking breakthrough. So God don't want you to mess up. His glory died to your body. It just like God, you two, four, seven. So when you mess up, he break you. He chastise you. He break down your business. He spoil your relationship. He scatter things around you. I don't want to say the little thing I did. I don't know everything that's going bad. It's going bad. God is angry with you. Two friends left the house and went and slept with me. Two friends. One was born again singing in the choir. The other one not know Jesus Christ. They went, but I want to keep pound. God sick seriously. Almost in a point of death. The other one, nothing happened. So the pastor said, you. God said, to tell you, you will not die now. He will frustrate you. Why? Because he loves you. He breaking you. Your business collapsing because God is dealing with you. Relationship lost it because God is dealing with you. Because you are a different person. Yeah, he. Whatsoever he tells you to do. The mother, the mother came to him. The people want wine. He says, Don't time. She went and sat down. The people came. He said, Mother, we are waiting for the wine. He said, Go and listen to him. Hear him. Obey him. Whatsoever he tells you to do, do it. That's all. The people waited for the hour. And then Jesus Christ tell them, Go and bring me water. They were asking for wine. He said, Bring me water. Because the hour came. God trained him for the appointed time. He saw a bad God, James chapter 1, verse 17. All perfect and good gift coming from the Father above. He's training for his own good. He's training for his glory. He's gonna mess you up. As I get all of them, my life, every relationship that comes to me, but I will break a gap to break up. He don't want you to be better tomorrow, so he's breaking it. But some good, good people come in, they are not good people. They are sex machine. But some good, good people come in, Google, how many good men you want? How many? Good, good people come in, good, good. Good, good. Good, good. Good, good, they come in, they, they, they come in. But when they come, they, when they come, they come, they go. Amen. When they come, they go. He will not allow them to stay. Your husband is somewhere. God break him from the alcoholic covenant. I told my wife this few days. I said, You see why? The Lord was frustrating my effort in business. I was not a pastor. God never wanted to marry a businessman. He wanted to marry a pastor. So what I was still struggling for Danale, I mean from, from Buduburu camp coming to Liberia doing business, the Lord brought it into pieces. Just imagine at the checkpoint coming from Africa, they will seize everything for no reason. I asked the people why? They beat me on my head with iron. I will get in the car and go back to Danale and enter. The bus straight back to Ghana and go gather money again and come back and get a break. The Lord was frustrated. He said, You businessman, I will break it. I don't want to see your tears. You will cry, it will be painful, it will be better, but I will close my eyes to your bitterness. I will frustrate your effort until you start. I have a purpose for you, I have a plan for you. When well, she was on the other side, do your own thing too. Into some business too. The Lord, bam, just gonna happen. The same way God is doing it to you. He breaking people from your life, spoiling things you into. Yeah. So, someone God is raising up for you. The best woman that will make you happy. The best man. So all the people that are right, God scattering their plan. And you cry. You come for seven day drive for God. Say, look at you. You are living food and water for nothing. But yeah. this one will not make me to answer you. So you find seven day drive for the thing increase. 
You have not seen it before? Seven day drive from the husband. The more you fight, the more the men run away from you. The more you are fasting, the more people are running away. The more you are fasting, the more bad luck coming. And you come on and say, I'm tired. Let me die because you're not down. You swallow poison, you will eat. Someone say, I hear, I hear you. Go and ask Jonah what happened to him. God sent him to Nineveh. He never wanted to go to Nineveh. He entered the boat and squeezed himself in the corner. The Lord shake the boat. The people said, What is happening? We have never experienced this kind of thing before. They took the luggage and started throwing it into the sea. When everything was going into the sea, they think the waves still beating left and right. They said, No, something wrong. They started to pray, they pray, they pray. The Lord spoke. So somebody here, somebody here, stop on men inside here. One stop on man inside this place here. It's a problem to the ship. They start searching the place. They find Jonah in one corner, squeezing yourself. They say, Excuse me, sir. Where are you going? Come, stand, stand on your feet. People suffering, we are dying, you are sleeping in this corner. Don't. The cast now. Jonah said, don't cast blood too much. I am the problem. I was sent by God to Nineveh. I'm on my way to Tashi. But I'm supposed to go to Nineveh. So God is punishing me because I don't want to obey him. He says, sir, we are not going to that way. He says, throw me in the river. Throw me in the sea. You, I, I, no, no, we don't want to kill. We can't kill you because the fish will eat you. In the middle of the sea, we can't do that. When God is taking you up, even you fall down, you will not die. I'm telling you, when the hand of God is on you, no matter the sickness, the disease, until you realize and come back to Him, it is only your stubbornness can kill you. Yet this, why kill most of the believers? The stubbornness in your sickness, in your disease, in your ill time, run to Him and ask for mercy. He will hear you because He wants His glory. But when you're stubborn in that mood. Finish with you. You will take the glory in your shape it to someone else. God can lose you. He has nothing to lose. He never lost one battle. You will not lose on your head. Collecting him. People agree. They took Jonah. They said, Sir, you show? You show the true you need. Jonah said, They said, Don't delay. Don't delay. I'm not working for men. I say, Almighty, the Almighty send me on an errand. Send me. He moved the sea. Map. The direction. The first inventor of summary. A God. The first person to invent summary is who? God. Underwater. Jonah alone inside. He relaxed in three days. Enjoy. Express to the neighbor. You see opportunity? He was up, he was crying. The Lord took him under. Private summer here, knowing the fish belly. Relaxing. They gave him some wine, drinking juice, eating. Neniva. Neniva. Straight. God on the show, you vomited him. Oh! He was not wet. Vomited him. He was not wet. He got a dry with suit. Was straight in the town. People on the river, repent! Repent! You were not talking like before. So God had to treat you in a different way. The man was running away. God tormented him. Now you were saying, repent! You got to repent! This one of fish. The next one, I don't know what coming. Repent! I saw fish swallowing me first time. So the next time, I don't know what. Maybe that ends, I will enter into the hands belly. I don't know. So repent, please. That is God. Whatsoever He tells you to do, do it. Stop waiting. Do it quickly. I come to this point. Majority of us, we are delaying our miracle because we fail to answer God's call. The Lord is calling you, the Lord is talking to you, but you don't want to obey. Your miracle is in your obedience. 
your miracle is down to your obedience. You see that thing you're looking for? Just obey God. Some years back, I was like this. Struggling, frustrated, disappointed in the gutter. Clearly, cassava fun to eat. But when I obey him, things started changing. It will not change immediately. Because along the way, there's so many checkpoints. And God will test you to in different ways. Come, come, because you see in the Bible, bless your husband. Lord, I want this man. I want the man to be bright. Let the man know be sharp. Lord God, I need a man that has money in the bank. Father, the man have blessings. So many cars. I will prove to my neighbors, my enemies. That, Lord, I need a kind of man. Describe the man before God. You're going three years, the thing can happen. You're going four years, God, I didn't answer you. I'm not sinking again. You reduce the spin singing. But you came for you were so serious. You came to water. Lord, I surrender. I gave my totality to him. I surrender to him. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I make him my personal savior. The beginning of trouble. One year gone. The head coming out small, small. Two years. Three years, the hand tied. Nothing to show. Four years, seven gone. Why? He will not bless an Egyptian with the Israel blessing. Take that. He will not bless an Egyptian with an Israel blessing. You still have the mentality of an Egyptian. So he got to screw you and unscrew. Watching your brain from the Egyptian mentality, then he would give you a bread from Kenya. Come be in and out, and you want the Israel blessing. Till you come to and down, down me. Just down me, down me. Down me. Maybe they see me. <laughs> <laughs> You want to put it down in God? The chopping. The lavender way. Chopping this man. Think God. Enter your choir when I start singing. You see, you bless me. I don't want to do it. Me, I'm Christian. I'm going to church. Let me just change here. Halfway. Halfway change. Just in between. Let me see. Maybe the two work in the church. God said, okay. Angel look in the heart and see where she going. They scare the heart. Father, she's not doing it. She's really repented. She's not doing the born again. It's okay. Keep on five years. Say she want to be here like that. She's not too much more than us. Five years. Yes, sir. They stamp it on your head. Bam. You will sing, 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 sing. You sweep the church, you sweep the church, you sweep outside the church, you work for soccer. You sweep, you get power. No sign of anything happening. You know your heart. Until you come to yourself. Just let me repent fully. I am not an Egyptian. But Israel. And the John said, now you are mine. Taste the bread. You don't want to give you the Israel bread and you go back and give to the Egyptian. Jesus, look at the woman. I will not give you the food that belongs to children. Can't get dog, you. Children's bread to dog. You all heard it before? I will not give the children's bread to the dog. They almost say, even though I belong to the dog class, but give me the crumbs. He said, I've never seen such faith before. Even though we came from the dog class of people, but please give me the crumbs. I've not come to taste and to go, Jesus. In other words, I say, I've not come to taste and go. I've come to stay. I'm on your side. Read the Bible, Jesus. That woman followed you. The ministry of Jesus. Some of you today you are in church, the next is such a bush. You are in church, the next is facing the soul. Papi, I can check my bank. It will be rich. 
people coming, serious people, committed people, die hard. No king, they're ready to say, they can sleep in the church for one more. They can close their shop for God business. They can abandon their career for Christ. You never see something. Go ask Dokas the other day. Women left the homes. They were in the church praying for Dokas. They couldn't go home. They said, God, we want this. They forget their children, their businesses, their husband. They were in the sanctuary praying. Pray for Dokas to live Go and ask Mary. Ask chapter 2. Chapter 12. When Peter was blessing, pressing, it was Mary House that turned to a prayer chamber. She collected people, turned the house into a prayer chamber. She prayed with others in her living room. Put the chair, television, everything. Let's pray. There are people that are coming. If they are not sober, they will take over. And you'll be completely. I don't play for my career. I must grow every year. I must go up every day. But look at you. From the day you gave your life to Christ in that department, nothing knew about you. You stay talking the same word, you stay gossiping, you stay criticizing, you stay condemning, you stay mocking, you stay murmuring, you stay complaining. Every year, the same old thing. You expect God to trust you with people blessing. You now some of you are talking one thousand years will run straight to the time. At your own level there. That's some who have graduated about a thousand US. So if God gave you five thousand, you stay, he can move you. But you have graduated. So God knows you, he can't trust you now beyond five. The very first time I conclude the message, they gave me 40 dollars US, 40 dollars. The very first time in my life. I hide the money under the bat. Inside this church. Every three million go and look at it and stay there. Every three million took three days fast for 40 USD. Fasting to God for the money not to disappear. Struggling man, poor man again 40 years of 2020. In the year 2000. 2000. I hold the money 20 note. Two. New new one has made it. Poverty is a disease. I kept that money on the ground. Started fasting God. Lord, please help me. The money should disappear. <laughs> then the last prayer said, God, what should I do with the $40? The Lord said, take a sasa and a basket for offering. The first money I spent all, I bought basket for offering. I bought sasa. I didn't eat nothing. After one month, God brought the left to back to me. 1,000 US. If I run away with 40, that 1,000 will happen. I almost run away. Every day, place the money on me. I can't keep that one anywhere. I walk in a hole in it. I sit down small, press it. Thousand United States dollars. It will hold me a sleep ahead and walk away. I take Bobby, I will put the money so far, I'll be taking my looking. Outside, 
No more speaking to the people in mind. You speak on the body of the people, afraid to speak to the heart and the soul of the people. Take my house and go. Take your cars. Take everything. Don't take my gold. Stand to your feet. If you're watching around the world, stop playing game. Get connected to him. Obey God this year, 2018. That three person around you, obey him with all your body, soul, and spirit. Obey him with your body, your soul, and your spirit. Don't play game. Don't play game. Obey God with what? Your body, your soul, and your spirit. Obey God. Obey God to the fullest. I'm not suffering for something. I said, I, I, I'm not looking for food. I'm not looking for money. I'm not going to rob someone. But I so much believe I'm a millionaire. I'm saying, I'm not bragging. If God can take me from the gutter and bring me to this level, the higher level to come. That what I know, the only thing I need to do is to serve my God with open heart. If I wrong any man, I shouldn't be too stubborn, too proud. I go right back to you to say, please forgive me. Any of my children here, the last time Dr. asked if you hear, Mommy Kinder, Dr. said she's not happy with you. I said, why? I don't know. Maybe I did something to her. I don't know. I call my daughter in the office. I beg you, sorry. I want to go on my knees. She said, ah, daddy, don't do that. I said, please forgive me. I don't know. I don't want anybody to be here. I'm so much loving God to carry people in my heart. If I wrong you by mistake, you are here. Please forgive me. Forgive me. I'm him all. I may do something to you or to myself. But you need to tell me and I will apologize. One minute. That's me. Maybe I promise to come to your house. I didn't come. Are you best? Please. Sorry. I'm too busy. That's why. Sorry. Don't hold people in your heart. Your children depending on you. And God wants to trust the children blessing on you. Here you are carrying people in your heart. How will God bless you when your heart is too heavy? How can he trust you with his heavenly riches? God wants to pour on you blessing. That generation of God will enjoy you. But look at you. Everything you say that you grieve of serving God. I don't know why I'm serving this God for you. Ready, God? If you go, prove yourself. If you think you go, and you say you go, prove yourself. Let me see. Are you the first to talk up? The old man young said, "Close that chapter. Show me someone in Brazil. Show me, show me, show me, show me someone in Brazil. Leave that up. Turn the globe. Let me see someone in Brazil. Leave that uh, person." So the screen focus on you. If you talking about God, look at you, God. He said, come, talk, 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 turn the screen. Turn the screen from that person and look at another person. <laughs> to you, God hearing you. To you, God listen. Nobody listen to you. You talk on your own. The past the screen. You don't even have time for you. You talk and get tired. You throw dry. You drink water. They say you're drinking. God's not talking. Some of the prayer we pray, God is not interested. Say, so 21 day drive fast. 42 day drive fast. After 42 days, what happened? People still see. It's meaningless. I say it's meaningless. You fast in the moment for what? Your soul to reconnect God, not for break, breakthrough. Whenever you go into fast, it's to reconnect your inner man back to the root. Not for blessing, no. It's to carry yourself back to God. Then the Father bless you. Miracles of the children pray. You don't fast for blessing. You don't ask God, please give me blessing. When you're in line with Him, He bless you. Yeah. Hear that? When you're in good relationship with God, you don't struggle. Maybe the person watching me right now, I just showed a text message the moment. A man woke up, a pastor in the United States, he said, I was led. Pastor was bothered to bless you. He dropped information in my mailbox. Three days. He been waiting for me to reply. He said, Pastor, I'm led to give you the seed. Three days. I didn't check him when I went there. I saw him. I said, Sir, I'm here. Who needs you answer the money? 
I said, I was just about to say, when I said the pastor can talk, God, please don't hold me. I'm sending it somewhere. The Holy Spirit said, go there. Go there. Go there. He's watching me. He always goes out. He's watching. I, I have not met him before. I don't know him. He said he was late. The Holy Ghost took him to the social media and said, go and look for Pastor Sammy David. Get me this money. He said, so much disturbed to give me the money. When you are in love with God, he makes you to be in peace with your enemies. Glory in your basis, from one glory to another glory in 
in your marriage for one glory to another glory at your job place for one glory to another glory in your home for one glory to another glory in your career for one glory to another glory i see happening in your life from one level of honor to another level from one place of happiness to another level you will not come down you will not come down you will not go down for one glory to another glory for one blessing to another blessing for one happiness to another happiness for one testimony to another testimony you will not go down in the name of jesus christ you will not go down in the name of jesus christ you will not go down in your marriage you will not go down at your job place you will not go down in your career you will not go down in that relationship you will not go down from glory to glory from glory to glory this year 2018 from glory to glory everybody lift up your hands wave your hands wave your hands from glory to glory from glory to glory this year we in your children from glory to glory that project from glory to glory your business from glory to glory wave your hands wave your hands from glory to glory from peace to peace from happiness to happiness from fruitfulness to fruitfulness from breakthrough to breakthrough from blessing to blessing it's coming upon you it's coming upon you it's coming upon you it's coming upon you this is your time receive it receive it receive it receive it you will not go down 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 from glory to glory from happiness to happiness from peace to peace from open doors to open doors you will finish the project you will get the job promotion is coming employment is coming appointment is coming open door is coming breakthrough is coming from glory to glory all my children here from glory to glory those watching on the internet from glory to glory those in europe from glory to glory from america to australia from glory to glory in Liberia, from glory to glory no more insult no more disgrace no more setback no more single life peace in your marriage peace in your house peace in your coming out peace in your coming in from glory to glory from glory to glory i hear the lord i will make you to be blessed you will sit in blessing you will eat on your table i will make you fruitful i will make you productive from glory to glory I will take away sheaves. I will take away disgrace. I'm hearing the Lord. You say, I am the Lord. The only one of Israel. The only one of Israel. I will make you happy. I will bless you this year. I will make you fruitful. From glory to glory. You will prosper my child. You will prosper my son. You will prosper my daughter. This year, I will make you to dance. This year, I will make you to lie. From glory to glory. From glory to glory. I will bless your hands. I will bless your body. I will bless your children. I will bless your going out. I will bless your coming. In that job, they will see my glory. In your marriage, they will see my glory. In your career, they will see my glory. From glory to glory. From peace to peace. From happiness to happiness. From glory to glory. I say to somebody, from glory to glory. I don't know you. From glory to glory. Enough is enough. You have suffered too much. You have cried many nights. You have been disappointed. You have been frustrated. They laugh at you. They condemn you. From glory to glory. From glory to glory. From glory to glory. In this year. 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 2018. From glory to glory. Amen. Amen. I am hearing the Lord. Amen. He 
said, Tell them I will wipe away their tears. Amen. He said, Tell them I will face them again. Amen. He said, Tell them I'm about to show for my glory. Amen. Amen. He said, Announce to them that this is my time to show up. Amen. I will show up and the world will know me. Amen. I will show up and people will praise me. Amen. I will show up and I will do it for them. Amen. I am the Lord Almighty. Amen. From glory to glory. Amen. I will turn darkness into light. Amen. I will turn shame into flame. Amen. I will turn breakdown into breakthrough. Amen. I will make a way this year. Amen. I will give you money. Amen. I will bless your body. Amen. I will promote you. Amen. I will give you the job. Amen. I will do it for you. Amen. You will be fruitful. Amen. You will be productive. Amen. You will be blessed this year. Amen. From one glory to another Amen. glory. You are opportune to be here in this service today. Yes, Lord. Take your hand and pull on your head. Amen. Close your eye for one minute. I have one minute. Amen. Put your two hands on your head and close your eyes. Somebody walk into the belly with white clothes. I see a man. I see a man. I shall go there. I see a man. I see a man walking with white clothes. I see a man. Close your eyes. Something happening. Something happened. The veil. He's taking out the veil. He's removing the thing that place on you. I see a man in this building. He's not an ordinary man. He's in white linen. But blood is in his palm. He's showing me the blood. He said, I've come, my son. Where are my children that were better than frustrated? I've come to do it. One minute he's here, he's taking it from you. The thing that burned people, the thing that stopped daughters, the thing that stopped sons, the thing that made marriage better, the thing that break relationship. He's here, he's here, he's here, he's here, he's here, he's here. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. I see smoke yeah. leaving people yeah. here. Yeah. I see smoke yeah. going for your head. Smoke, smoke, yeah. see it. Yeah. See, it. see smoke. Yeah. See smoke. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Yeah. The power of God is here. Yeah. The power of God is here. Yeah. I feel the presence. Yeah. I feel yeah. His presence. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's yeah. it. That's it. Yeah. 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 Yes, Lord. Yeah. Touch her. Touch her. No yeah. touch him. No yeah. touch her. Right now. Lekata kapa patea, lekapa handa katea, lekata pakata. The power of God is setting someone free. The power of God is setting someone free. Where are the ushers? Go there, go there. Mata kaske, mata, lekatia, rabade, lekato, libraba, lekato. Where are the ushers? Something happening. You're free. The power. 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 Everywhere the light is. The power of God. The power of God. The power of God. You are coming out. You are coming out. You are coming out. Everywhere. The lock of your life. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. The power. The power. The power. Be free. Be free. Enough is enough. Who did this to you? Be free. Be free. Be free. It's coming out. Be free. That's it. Yes, 
break it now. Break it now. Yes, Lord. Break the tree. Yes, Lord. Break the yoke. Yes, Lord. Break the tree. Yes, Lord. Break the yoke. Yes, Lord. Break the tree. Yes, Lord. Break the yoke. Yes, Lord. Break the tree. Yes, Lord. Break the yoke. Yes, Lord. Break the yoke. Yes, Lord. Break the tree. Yes, Lord. Break the yoke. Yes, Lord. Break the tree. Yes, Lord. Repeat after me quickly, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, I repent today. I repent today from all my sins. For all my sins, cleanse me with your blood. Cleanse me with your blood. Make me whole again. Make me whole again. I am ready. I am ready to serve you with all my heart. To serve you with all my heart. Please strengthen me. Please strengthen me to live for you. To live for you for the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. So be it. So be it. In Jesus' name. Amen. Remain there. Close your eyes. Remain there. Father, yes, we have submitted our totality unto you. Yes, Lord. Right now. Yes, Lord. Right now, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Holy Ghost. You are able, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Holy Ghost.
Yeah. 